takes away when the sins go away. Jehovah has a final say. Jehovah turned my life around. He turned my life around. He makes a way when the sins go away. Jehovah has a final say. Who has the final say in our life? I say, who has the final say? Jehovah turned my lies around. He turned my lies around. He begs away when there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. Can be compared with him is the alpha at omega is the one that situates that you are alive today not by mind not by you are the one that established us in victory at all time lord it can only be you lord we bless you we appreciate you lord we we'll reference you harbor father Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Let's be seated in his presence tonight, choir. Thank you. God bless you. Tonight is our communion service. And the topic I've captioned as the communion is real, not a ritual. Communion is real. It is never a ritual. And it has been anchored on Matthew chapter 22, verses 29. Matthew 22, verse 29. I'll be reading from NIV version. Jesus replied, You are in error because you did not know the scripture or the power of God. May the Lord bless his word in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We appreciate you for yet another time in your presence to dine and wine on your table. Lord, tonight, whatever cannot stand the blood of Jesus, whatever that cannot stand the flesh of Jesus, we declare today that we raise a standard against it in the name of Jesus. Tonight, as we have come to your table, we are coming in exchange of blessings, in exchange of healing, in exchange of prosperity, in exchange of your light in our life. Thank you, mighty God. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Tonight is a communion service. It is very clear to us at this moment that it is the very first month in the second quarter and also a month where what we, we experience in Praise Tabernacle will only be celebration. And it is my prayer that that celebration that we experience in his house we also be your experience in your various homes in the name of Jesus. When you hear communion, what is the exact thing that flood your heart? What is running through your mind? What are you looking at? What is the thing that comes straight to your mind? And that is why Jesus has replied in that verses of scripture that you are in error because you did not understand the scripture neither did you have the understanding of the power of God. Communion as it were has erupted mystery and controversies among believers. It has brought about mysteries. It has brought about controversies. Some say when they hear communion it is for us to come and literally partake on the body of Christ that we may just eat it and we go. Some insist that number of right and demonstration must be known. Certain commitment must be met before you can partake in communion. Some say it is nothing than a usual ritual that we found in churches. Some say it is just common. And some even believe that it is what we can share on crusade ground to everybody that is present. But let's look at it tonight from Jesus' perspective. That's why I've captured it that it is real. It is not a ritual. Hence, the major truth that no one can question is that communion is a tremendous, powerful substance that every blood washed covenant child of God will partake and experience the power of God. It is never a ritual. But it is a meal that when you partake, you contact the power of God. That's why the anchor scripture is saying that when you are saying communion is nothing but a ritual, what you have just done is error. It is never a ritual. It's because you don't know the power of God. It is because you don't know the scripture. That's why you have come up to say that. Communion is never a ritual, but a meal that has in it the tremendous power of God. And tonight, it is my prayer that you experience that power in your life in the name of Jesus. Before we go further, I would like you to open your mouth and pray this simple prayer. Oh Lord, my Father, help me to unlock the blessings available at the communion tonight. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Help me, O Lord, to unlock the blessing attached to me. That blessing that I will contact on this table. Help me, Lord. Open my heart. Holy Spirit of Jesus, help me, Lord. Open my heart to have that understanding to unlock the blessing. And that will be our experience in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I want to admonish us 
that let's try as much as possible not to be guilty of the body and the blood of Jesus Christ, but to be justified by the blood and the body of Christ. Jesus has been nailed. Incidentally, this is a period where Jesus resurrected again. This is a period that makes you and I to be boastful that today we are Christians. Because if Jesus did not resurrect, you and I have no place. Nobody can come out and say you are a Christian if Jesus did not resurrect. But as far as you understand that Jesus is the reason for the season, so also you need to understand that the flesh and the blood of Jesus Christ carry that power that no man can contend with. It is not what you can just come to the table and just see it as a ritual that we do every first Thursday of the month. Every crossover service to the new month. It's beyond that. It comes with a tremendous power. So tonight, don't drink it unworthily. Don't look at it from the angle of it is not what the pastors will just prepare. See it as something that potent that has the power of God itself. That's why the scripture is making it clear that the moment you are seeing it as a ritual, you are nothing but somebody that's walking in error. That did not understand the scripture not the power of God. And the moment you don't understand it, there is no way it can work for you. Tonight, God will make it an experience that we will never forget in the name of Jesus. When you look at it from the book of St. Luke chapter 22 verse 20, Jesus said, this is the new covenant in my blood. If you look at that account very well, you will realize that Peter and other apostles, they never contend with that statement with Jesus. They didn't ask any question further. What they are curious about is that who is that person that is going to point at Jesus? Have you ever wondered that why is it like that? An average Jew understand what is called covenant. That is why you see that they did not ask any question. They understood that, that this is a covenant thing. This is a sacred thing. What they have been doing before they came to Jesus has been a shadow. But now they have come to something that they know that this is raw power. You and I today, are we seeing it as a raw power? Do we understand it as a covenant between us and Christ? Or we are just picking it from the angle of a ritual? Tonight, our understanding will be open and our blessing, nothing will hinder it in the name of Jesus. A Jew is almost that is very trained, that is well trained in the school of covenants. In the tenets of the whole covenant, Jews, they don't lack when it comes to understanding. They are grounded. Today, the question between you, for you and I is that, are we grounded to understand the scriptures concerning the communion? Do we understand the covenant we are coming to when we come to the table? Have we come to the extent of having an issue and you break a, covenant, a communion concerning that an issue and the issue comes to an end? Have you come to that understanding? That's the kind of power the communion carries. 
It is not what you can just come and you just take unworthily. It's not what you can come and you just say, no, it's just that. That's the way we have been doing it. It's beyond that. It has this tremendous power that no one can contend with it. It is our month of green pastures. But I tell you, the only thing that can establish you in that green pasture is the power of Jesus. Not your efforts. And that is why we are coming to be part of that covenant tonight. And that's why we are coming that when we come to the table, we become a different being. Such covenant child. The moment you are still in sin, not yet blood wash covenant child. You need to come to the side of Jesus. You need to live that that is not of God. Tonight, you know that you are still playing church. You are not on the side of Jesus. Can you please bow your head and talk to him? Tell him you want to bring to an end playing of church. You want to give your life to him in totality so that you can experience that power such that the covenant can speak for you. Speak to him online on ground. I want to say bye bye to sin and embrace Jesus. Father, my God, we thank you. We appreciate you for you are faithful. As many as has dedicated their life unto you tonight, Lord, receive them, Lord. As you receive them, Lord, wash them by your blood. Make them a new being. Draw them closer. Draw them nearer. From today, let them experience you in a new dimension. Let your power walk with them. Walk for them and walk through them. Do it, O oh Lord. And let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We are going to come to the table tonight. Remember, it is a table that is meant for every blood washed covenant child. And when you come, you contact that power. And that power will do you good tonight in the name of Jesus. We are going to be on our feet. The ushers will direct us. And will come to the table. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We appreciate you for you are faithful. Lord, let it please you tonight that your power will come mightily upon this meal. As many that we take tonight, whatever we ask to go from this moment will go in the name of Jesus. Everything that is not of you, we stand upon your words that I say, declare it in and it shall be established. We declare tonight everything that is not of you in sickness, in lack. We serve it quick notice now in the name of Jesus. And as they leave, they will not return. In the name of Jesus. As for us all, we experience you in a new dimension. Your blessing will be permanent. And that covenant will speak for us forever. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Because you live, Jesus, I live. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Because you live, Jesus, I live today. I live to pray. Because you leave 
because you live, Jesus, I live today, I live to praise your name, because you live, because you live, Jesus, I live, I have no fear, I have no fear of what tomorrow Corinthians 11 verse 24 and when he had given thanks he broke it and said this is my body which is for you do this in remembrance of me so we take the bread together in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son and in the name of God the Holy Spirit in the same manner after supper he took the cup saying this cup is a new covenant in my blood do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me we take in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son and in the name of God the Holy Spirit let's go ahead and begin to thank him for his supper tonight Let's thank him for fresh fire in our life. Let's appreciate him for he's the faithful father. Thank him, reference him. There's none that can be compared with him. Thank him, thank him. He's a faithful father. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you for your meal tonight. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the power we in contact at your table tonight. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Oh Lord, my Father, I take authority over every form of misconception, every form of attack against your power in my life, in my business, in my life in all that I do. Go ahead and begin to take authority against those attack now. Take authority. Take authority over there. In the name of Jesus. I take authority over every form of attack. In the name of Jesus. They attack over your power in my life. Attack to my business. To my home. To everything that I stand for. Every attack to your church. Because you have declared that is our amount of green pasture. Every power that is standing against her. We take authority over them tonight. In the name of Jesus. We take authority over them tonight. In the name of Jesus. Every form of attack 
concerning me, concerning my business, over the, my career, over your church, Prince Tabernacle, over our pregnant women. We take authority over you tonight. In the name of Jesus, every attack of sickness over our children tonight will raise a standard upon it because we have received a fresh fire of your power. In the name of Jesus, we take authority over them now. In the name of Jesus, we take authority over them from one of attack tonight. In the name of Jesus, we take authority over them. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I raise a standard against everything that is not of God in my life, in my business, in my home. In your church, Mr. Tabernacle, Lord, I raise your standard against everything that is not of you. Every pain, every sickness, every lack, I raise the standard of Jesus against you. In the name of Jesus, I raise against you the standard of Jesus. Everything that is not of God, everything contrary to your will, in my life, in my destiny, in my business, tonight, I raise a standard against you. In the name of Jesus, I raise a standard against you. In the name of Jesus, I raise a standard against you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Job 5, 19. From six calamity, it will rescue you. In seven, no harm will touch you. You are going to go before the Lord tonight. Everything come calamity. I come against you by the power in the blood of Jesus. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Everything called calamity. Ah, my home, my business. We are far from calamity. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Lord, I raise a standard against every form of calamity. In the name of Jesus. Every calamity against my life, against my destiny, against my business. I come against you tonight. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, every form of calamity we come against you. Every calamity against our green pastures as a church today we come against it by the power in communion tonight. In the name of Jesus, every power that is ravaging over our life and destiny, every power contending against our green pastures tonight. We raise a standard against you. We come against you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are still praying from that Job 5. Job 5.20. In farming, it will deliver you from death. In battle, from the stroke of sword. Lord, every form of death ravaging our life and destiny. As an individual, as a family, even as a church. Tonight, we we'll raise a standard of God against you. We come against you by the blood of Jesus. We come against you by the blood of Jesus. For Jesus has taken the key of death. And he said there should be no more death should be heard among us. We declare tonight every form of death ravaging every life and destiny tonight. We come against you. You shall not start in the name of Jesus. Every form of death. Death in finances. Death in business. Death in body. Death in any form. Today, we come against you by the blood. 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 In the name of Jesus. For we bear upon our body the mark of Christ. Lord, today, we declare every form of death. We say no to you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. He said, in battle, from the stroke of sword. You are going to go before him. Every battle, knowingly and unknowingly, Lord, I come against you by the blood of Jesus today. Every battle, I come against you. Battle in my dream, battle in my work, battle in my home, battle in my business, battle in your church, battle in our country, battle in this environment. Lord, we come against you tonight. In the name of Jesus, every form of battle we come against you tonight. In the name of Jesus, every battle of the mind that is affecting us not to partake in the power that is attached to communion tonight, we raise a standard against you. In the name of Jesus, every battle we silence you tonight. We silence you tonight. We silence you tonight. 
we silence you tonight. In the name of Jesus, every form of battle will raise a standard against you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Verse 22. You will be protected from the lash of the tongue. And need not fear when destruction comes. You are going to go before him. Every tongue rising against me in judgment. Tonight, I raise a standard against you. In the name of Jesus. Every tongue, knowingly and unknowingly, rising up against me in judgment. Tonight, I raise a standard against you. In the name of Jesus. Every tongue rising against your church. Praise Tabaraku in judgment. Every tongue rising against my business. Tonight, I come against you by the blood. In the name of Jesus. I come against you by the blood. In the name of Jesus. Every tongue rising against you. In your place of work. In your in-laws place. In your family. Tonight, raise a standard against them. In the name of Jesus. Every tongue rising up against me in judgment. Tonight, I call for the blood of Jesus. Begin to challenge it. Challenge it by the blood tonight. Every tongue coming against you. Where you, the destiny concerning you is to be established. Every tongue speaking negative. Raise a standard against it tonight. In the name of Jesus. Every tongue rising against your promotion in your place of work. Tonight, begin to raise a standard. In the name of Jesus. In the environment where you do your business, every tongue rising up against you. Tonight, take a standard. Raise a standard by the blood. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every tongue rising up against me. Against your church, praise Tabernacle. Tonight, we'll raise a standard against them by the blood. We'll raise a standard against them by the blood. We'll raise a standard against them by the blood. In the name of Jesus. We'll raise a standard against them by the blood. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Need not fear when destruction comes. You are going to go before the Lord. Every fear in my life, in my home, in your church, praise Tabernacle. Tonight, we silence it by the blood. We silence it by the blood. We silence every fear. In the name of Jesus. Every fear concerning my finances. Every fear concerning my business. Every fear concerning my home. Every fear concerning the next level of your job. Tonight, we silence it tonight. We render them useless tonight. In the name of Jesus. We silence every form of fear. In the name of Jesus, every of our pregnant women, the fear of delivery, tonight, we silent it tonight. In the name of Jesus, how will it look like? Will I be able to deliver on my own? Tonight, we silent every form of fear. In the name of Jesus, in every home, let every fear be silent. In the name of Jesus, by the blood, we silent fear. In the name of Jesus. Ah, will this woman survive this sickness? Will my father survive this sickness? Will my mother survive this sickness? Will my sister survive this sickness? Tonight, we silent every form of fear. In the name of Jesus. We silent every form of fear. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Every destruction planned ahead of my day of celebration. Tonight, I reversed it and I send it back to the sender. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, every destruction planned ahead of my day of celebration. Every destruction planned ahead of this celebration in place Tabernacle. Tonight, we reverse it and we send it back to the sender. In the name of Jesus. We reverse it and we send it back to the sender. In the name of Jesus. Every destruction. Plan ahead of your day of celebration. Every destruction. Plan ahead of the day of my celebration. Every destruction. Plan ahead of our celebration in place Sabanaco. Lord. Tonight. 
we reverse it and we send it back to the sender in the name of Jesus we reverse it and we send it back to the sender in the name of Jesus Lord every destruction plan ahead of our day of celebration today we reverse it and we send it back to the sender in the name of Jesus our every destruction set ahead of your day of celebration today we declare it be reversed we send it back to your sender in the name of Jesus we stand in the place of power tonight because we have contacted the power of the most high we declare tonight every of such destruction we reverse it and send it back to sender in the name of Jesus we reverse it and send it back to sender in the name of Jesus thank you mighty God in Jesus mighty name we have prayed in Jesus mighty name we have prayed for you will have a covenant with the stone of the field and the wild animal will be at peace with you you are going to go before the Lord tonight everyone fighting me for no reason let them plan my next level let them be the planner for my next level in your place of work as a, a, a member in your compound they are fighting you for no reason Lord they will be the planning committee of my next level in the name of Jesus everyone fighting your church praise tabernacle for no reason Lord we declare tonight because we have contacted your power they will work out our next level in the name of Jesus ah, they will work out our next level in the name of Jesus everyone fighting your church praise tabernacle is it the only redeemed church around today we declare and decree they will be the plan committee of our next level the plan they have will work out our next level in the name of Jesus everyone fighting you in your place of work in your in-laws house in your compound in your family in your village wherever you they may be today they will work out your next level in glory they will work out your next level